Hello lovelies, you are welcome to this tutorial where we'll be learning how to make this gathered or pleated to band cap with front ruffles design. If you are just clicking in for the first time, thank you so much and please do well to subscribe before leaving. The materials going to be used for today's tutorial include scuba fabric of which have you had is enough, satin fabric of which have you had is also enough, your scissors, your measuring tape, the matching color of thread and needle. For this tutorial, the design we are working on has two parts. Firstly, we have the tuban cap, which is which of which I'll be making use of the gathered and pleated tuban cap, and then you can substitute with any other tuban cap of your choice. Secondly, we have the ruffles design, which is going to be attached on it, and this design is going to be padded. And for the padding, I'm going to be making use of fiber, of which in place you can also decide to make use of your foam. Your half inch foam will be okay for it. We'll start with the tuban cap first, and I'll be using a different video to illustrate how to achieve it. And thereafter, we'll proceed to work on the design that will be added on it. The round band tuban cap, which has the gathered or pleated base as well as a backdrop effect so there's the band and then there's the pleated base and what i have here is 26 inches for the width and then the length i'm sorry 26 inches is for the head circle friends or the length which is what i have here why the width is 18 inches so um, the measurement for my fabric for the base is 26 for the length of the head circumference, 18 inches for the width, 26 by 18. Now, coming over to the band, I have my fabric here. Now, raw silk fabric is a very stretchy fabric. So what I'm now using for my head circumference is 21.5 inches. The adult, the adult head, the standard measurement for the adult head size is either 22 or 23 inches. But due to the stretchy nature of this fabric, I'm using 21 inches for the head circumference, which is the length, and then 4.5 inches for the width, because I don't want the width of the band to be that wide. That is it. Starting to a proper. Let's start with the tuban cap. And for the tuban cap, I'll be starting with the base first. Now, remember that we're working on a pleated or gathered tuban cap. And then this is my fabric. In order to get that pleats and gathers, it requires that I mark out my fabric using my chalk and my ruler. So before you mark out your fabric, you have to first of all determine the interval you are going to be using. The measurement of the interval. Now for mine, I'm using 1.5 inches. So what you do is that you get your measuring tape. Measure out 1.5 inches and mark. Extend it to somewhere else. Measure 1.5 inches and mark. Get to your ruler and then extend the lines from one end of the fabric to the other end. Now there's another alternative in order to decrease that stress and that is what I do. I have this, I have different rulers with different measurements for their width. This for instance, the measurement for this for the width is 1.5 inches. So what I do is to just get my ruler, place it on my fabric, get my chalk and start marking out the lines on my fabric from one end to the other. Instead of having to use my measuring tape to measure one after the other, which is much more stressful. So I have gone ahead to mark out my fabric from beginning to the end, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is to go back to my sewing machine and then pick each, each marked line, sew it down. Pick each marked line and sew it down until I get to the end of the fabric. So at this point, I have the fabric for my base already sewn. This is the fine side. This is the fine side of my work. And then on turning it inside out, this is the wrong side all sewn. And then what I'm doing is that I'll get my fabric. I'll get my fabric, fold it into two equal halves to enable me to locate the middle. And then I'm going to make a notch at the middle of the fabric. So that is it. And then I will get my band, the fabric for my band. 
Now I'm going to fold it into two equal halves this way. And then I'm going to go ahead to notch down this side here. And also notch down this side here. And then thereafter, I've notched both points. Thereafter, I'll fold it into two, get the fabric for my base, and then open it up. Then place the fabric for my band on it, ensuring that the midpoint where I notched aligns. That is both the fabric for the band, aligns with the fabric for the base. And then I'm going to place this on my sewing machine and then sew from one end to the other end. But then if you observe, you see that there is a little allowance on each side and that is what will help to create the backdrop effect. So let me join down the band and the base together and then get So right back. here, I have my fabric. This is my band already sewn. And then this is the wrong side. So I'm going to go ahead to fold it into two equal halves so as to get the middle point of my fabric and then create my gathers at this edge before I continue with the design. So I'll be needing my needle and thread of matching color and please ensure that it is doubled and you have your thread knotted at the end. And then I have my fabric opened here. I've opened it up and I've also used my chalk and my ruler to mark out the midpoint. And then I'll start by passing my needle and thread from the wrong side of the cap, the band. I'll take it upwards and then I'll pleat my fabric, pass my needle and thread in, pleat the fabric, fold that is, pick it up, fold it into two, pass my needle and thread in, in that order until I get to the end of this fabric. So this is it. Pick each pleat, fold it into two. Pass your needle and thread at the edge. So let me complete this and then I'll get back. So this is it. I've gotten to the end. Now, if you will observe, you'll see that this is the last. Um, pleats okay and i did not sew through it so when you are making your gathers at the middle point of your fabric ensure to stop at the second to the last pleat so at this point i can pull my thread and tack it through several times in order to secure it at the middle and then cut off the excess thread So at the end of it all, oh, this is how it looks like, and then I'll go ahead to set this aside, and then I'll so get this is back. mine already soon. I've made the gathers at the middle, so I'll just go ahead to fold it into two equal halves, and then I'm going to place on my sewing machine and sew. I will sew from the band, sew down this part, sew down to this edge, and then sew down to this very edge. Remember, we left this last split free. That is for the sewing allow one so i'll take it again fold into to start sewing from the band sew down to this part and then getting to this end i'll curve it and take it to this edge and then getting to this edge i will sew down to this edge and extend it down to this very end after sewing i have it this way this is how it looks like and i've sewn down from the edge from this end from the band down to this part this edge and this other edge so what you do is that ensure you have the edges weaved because the edge of this rustic fabric frays a lot. So take it down to your weaving machine and then weave the edges. After doing that, I will now proceed with my running stitch. Okay, my running stitch is going to come from this point and then end at this point. So I have my needle and thread already doubled and I will go ahead to keep passing it in and out until I get to the very end. So I have secured the edge and then I'll go ahead to turn it inside out. So yeah, I have my gathered to band cap with backdrop effect. So I can now go ahead to set this aside. Yeah, I have my gathered or pleated to band cap already soon. 
So I will set this aside while we continue now, with the tutorial. For the design, I have my satin fabric here. And the measurement I'm going to be using is 12 inches by the full length of the fabric. So I will cut out 12 inches for the width. After cutting, cutting out my fabric, I'm going to be folding my fabric. I will have to fold my fabric into two equal halves with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside. And then I will sew from one end of the fabric to the other end through the entire length, which is always anywhere between 57 and 60 inches. Now, after sewing down the fabric, I'll go ahead to turn the fabric inside out. And so then this is my back. fabric. I've finished sewing it. I've turned it inside out and I've also ironed it. So this is it. Then I'm going to get my fiber because we're going to be padding it with fiber. And this is my fiber. Now, where I am located, this is how my fiber comes in. Like a very wide sheet. And if you check the fiber, it's like it has two layers. So I just open up my open up one part. You can see where I cut it off from. I cut it off from this side. So I open up one part like this. I separated it into two. And I took my measurement. So I cut out about five inches for the width by the full length of the fiber. It's a very long um, material. So I'm going to now go ahead to pass this inside until I get to the other end of the fabric and I'll get back. So this is my design with my fiber. The fiber is in it. I'm going to go ahead to fold in this edge. And then I have my needle and thread here. I'll be making a running stitch from this edge down to the end this way. So this is what I'll keep doing. I'll keep making my running stitch until I get to this other end. At this point, I'm done making my running stitch and I've secured both edges. This is how the design looks like. So we'll go ahead to attach this on our tuban cap. Tuban cap here. This is my tuban cap. I'll place this on my dummy head before adding design to it. Now, my tuban cap has been placed on my dummy head. I will get my design and then place it on it. Now I'm placing my design at the middle of my cap, after which I'll get my needle and thread and then we'll start tacking, okay? So this is me now. I'm trying to tack down my design on my cap, passing my needle and thread from the satin fabric. So I'll pass it, this is my needle and thread now. I'll pass it through the edge of the satin fabric and then stitch it down into the cap. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And as soon as I'm done, I'll place this on my dummy head to show us how it looks like. So this is the outlook. This is the front view. And then this is it. Now for the back. This part here, you can tell you don't want to leave it that way. You can get any applique, probably this, and then use it to glue it down for embellishment. That is optional. But then this is it for this design. As soon as all that is done, this brings us to the end of today's tutorial. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please also do so. And do where to follow us on our different social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Jenny Concepts.